Okay, so what do you think about their YouTube channel? You get an idea of kind of marketing of L'Oreal, right? You can see they have some kind of vloggers here. Some famous people have their own YouTube channels, right? Sometimes they're not even famous for any reason. Just people like, they get some followers on YouTube, they give some advice to people about their life, that kind of thing, right? Then uh, you can... Uh, <coughs> people, if they advise something, people buy that, their followers start buying that. And uh, the companies also are aware of that. Okay, so L'Oreal does this kind of digital marketing. Do you have? Do you follow anybody like that on YouTube or a blog? Yes. Yes. Who do you follow? Mighty Cyrus. No. No. Why not? Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Oh, okay. So if Taylor Swift recommends something, would you buy it? No? Uh, but if she recommends something that like movie or something like that or a book? If possible. It's possible you go to watch the movie or go to read the book. Okay. So uh, we have this type of uh, later in the course we'll <coughs> do another case study on digital marketing and social media, okay? So we can just see what L'Oreal is doing. So we've gone through the case study. So now what I want you to do is spend about five minutes writing down qualitative and quantitative information. What do you think is uh, important information which is going to help us to solve this problem for L'Oreal that they can growing is going to help us to analyze analyze this issue that L'Oreal is a big company but they want to be more customized L'Oreal wants to grow in emerging markets okay kind of double barreled issue so what information do you think is going to help us to analyze this issue so look look back at your notes right maybe you were taking some notes as you went along and spend about five minutes to write down what you think was important information Qualitative or quantitative? Do you understand what you have to do? Some of the important information we are going to use to analyze later. And remember, I'm going to ask you to hand, give me this at the end, right? You should give me the case study document. Either you can email me the, the thing, or you can just give me what you have written. But it should be organized. Problem, information, then uh, analysis, okay, and action points. So now we are on the information part, writing the important information. Okay, study.
positive information, we should have four or five things, right? At least four or five things, set, like one sentence for each important part that we, we saw when we went, we went through the case, right, together. We wrote down the main points of each part. And now we just need to summarize what's the important part relevant to the, the focus of the issue. So we should have four or five sentences in the qualitative data which is important points. Quantitative data, just if you think there's any number that's relevant, you can write in there. You can look at the graphs. Class, we should already have written down about the problem, right? Now we're doing the information. That will solve the problem or issue. So just take another couple of minutes and I'll ask you what is important, what did you write down? write down on a page the problem, the relevant information like this, right? Uh -huh. Problem and the... Uh, but you can just write down on the page. Take one page and write your problem. 
Hmm? No, uh, you can hand it in to me later. You can finish it at home. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you're going to uh, just that you can give it to me whenever you want. Before the end of the course. Just on maybe with one or two weeks to go, I'll ask people who didn't give me yet to give me the case studies. We'll do another case study later also. when we study a case study. The first one is, just by reading and going through the case study, we can learn from the experience of the company, right? We can learn some new ideas, we can learn about that. The second thing we want to be able to do in a case study is identify the problem, find the relevant information, and come up with an idea for an action plan. Analyze the information and come up with an action plan. So, the first part is easier, we just listen or we just read the case and we can just take in the information, right? But the second part is more challenging. We need to find out what is the relevant information, we need to analyse that and come up with action plans, right? But the second part is more useful because if you work in the real life, that's the kind of thing you'll be doing, right? Especially if you're a consultant, consultants spend a lot of time doing that, identifying what problem or issue is for the company, right? Collecting the relevant information, analyzing the information and coming up with an action plan for the company, a solution for the company, right? So when you graduate, that's the kind of thing you can do often in your job with any situation. So if we write that down, we have here for the case, any case study is generally identify the issue Issue is a nicer word than problem. Problem has a kind of negative sound, right? Issue is a more positive sound. You'll notice the higher people like Obama, they don't normally say problem or difficult. Instead, they say issue or challenging. Sounds better, right? Then we uh, identify the relevant data. This is what we're doing now. Identify relevant info. Okay, relevant means relevant to the issue. Number three, analyze the info. And number four, make an action plan. Do you understand the action plan? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Is it similar to strategy? Yes, yeah. strategy or plan. So we have to make an action plan at the end, that's important. Some people will just do this, analyze the information and say, I think this or I think that, right? Making an action plan means, what do we have to do? What actions do we have to do, right? So that's what we're doing here. What actions do you think? If you were talking to the L'Oreal CEO, what, are you going, what advice are you going to give them? We did the same for Sony. If you're talking to the Sony CEO, what action should they take? What advice? would you give them, right, so to deal with this issue. So then let's write down people's ideas about the relevant information. So, uh, Hang Hong Shu, can you tell us some relevant information? Uh, oh, sorry, I, I didn't know. We're going to write down about Four or five, just four or five lines, that's all. Uh, Can you tell me one thing? Uh, 
what is the most relevant information? The income level of the new uh, target market. The income level of the new target. What about the income level? Two things you could say about the income level. You could say we mentioned that they were changing the product and the price to be specific to the location, right? Yeah. Or that uh, people's income levels are going up in the emerging markets. Which one are you talking about? Uh, I mean, uh, uh, the local people can accept the uh, price of the low rep. Where? Uh, so I still don't understand. Do you mean L'Oreal is changing the price for the specific market, or do you mean that people in the in emerging markets income is going up? Uh, the income is going up. Okay. So we have emerging markets. We wrote a line about the growth, right? Emerging markets. We have growth in income and also in in in. Interest in, in health and beauty. So you guys live in some we have people who live in some emerging markets, right? China, Malaysia. Do you think that people's income levels are going up? Can you see that? And Russia? Hmm? Are people's income levels going up? Are people buying more? More interested in health and beauty products. What about in Russia? Yes. What about in Malaysia? Hmm? Do you notice that people are buying more health and beauty products? They have higher incomes. Hmm? Okay. Uh, ben Martin, can you tell us some information which is relevant to the issue? Um. I would say um, tailoring the product, but you said it before. Yes. No, well, I, I, said, I asked him which one he was talking about, so he didn't say that. So we can say this. So uh, we are making suitable product and price. For each location. Uh, he sang in. Yes. Can you tell us some more relevant information? advertising. So uh, what kind of advertising? Um. So in 
the emerging markets, right? And that's especially there. So it's linked to this one. The emerging markets are growing, so there we saw in China they were doing a lot of advertising there, right? Uh Jin Yang. Something else? Uh, <laughs> we we advertise passion magazines. Okay, so they said they're changing from that. So what are they changing to? Change to this time. They're changing to this time, right? So they're doing some digital marketing. We also, in the digital marketing, we also have this kind of in-store, included is in-store experience, right? Do you understand in-store experience? Yes. Okay, uh, Juan and Esther. We're looking for two more things, one or two more things of relevant information to help us to analyze the case. Experience with collaboration with hairdressers. It was also mentioned there. Uh, collaborating with the local people, the yeah. hairdressers. Yes. Yes. Uh, I would say it's more like recognizing new target group, the young people. So you want to say recognizing new target group? Yeah, the young people between 1996 and. So this one could also be linked here. So a new target group. We said from Maybelline. Okay, younger people. Uh, perhaps with the hairdressers, we can say local insight. Right? Do you understand local insights? for the customers and also the hairdressers working together. So I think we missed one important one, which is they have the local laboratory. Okay, local insights, they talk to the local people, they have local laboratories. Okay, uh, and lastly we can say innovation. They're always trying to do some innovation, okay. So we can see that the issue, uh, L'Oreal has a global brand with central, some things they do centralized, like the packaging, you understand packaging, right? And some brands and so on. They can save money by economies of scale, by having similar packaging and so on. But uh, they want to make more customized feel and they want to grow in emerging markets. Okay, so after reading the case, we've come up with this relevant information. 
So what we need to do now is analyze this information and come up with some action plan about what you think L'Oreal should do. Okay, we already looked at some things that were working for L'Oreal in the markets and not working. So let's look at the last part, reaching the next billion customers. So again, so L'Oreal is aiming to double its customer base to 2 billion people by 2020. So you, currently it's selling to 1 billion people. It wants to sell to 2 billion in just, uh, this case is from 2012, so in just 8 years, right? Is that optimistic? Double its customers in yes. 8 years? It's quite optimistic, right? But anyway, we have to have a high targets. And it wants to make, uh, currently it's only selling 30% of its products in emerging markets and 70% in developed markets. So it wants to change that, right? Half of its products will be sold in emerging markets. So really they're talking about large growth in emerging markets, okay? At the same time, they need to do these kind of things that are not associated with large companies, right? They need to have this... Uh, Creativity, flair, imagination, and so on. So, uh, we only have a couple of minutes left now, right? But you guys will do at home if you, we don't finish in the class. Is just analyze, think about the information. If you want, you can write out some analysis of your idea, what you've learned from the information. And then the final point is make an action plan. Okay? So, in this case, we, the analysis is not that important because we're not box because we're not comparing one option with another option, right? So, if you want, you can write there. If not, you can leave something blank. But I want you to analyze, think about the information, and make an action plan about what plan should L'Oreal do in the future. Do you understand your task? Is that an easy question? Hmm? Not that easy, right? It's, it's kind of a uh, question that L'Oreal themselves have to answer, right? But we are going to try to answer for this case, right?